Hey, this is Presh Tullwalker. Here's a problem that has stumped a lot of students and baffled parents. Calculate the perimeter of the composite rectilinear shape. You have a rectilinear shape, but they're only giving you the three sides of nine, five, and seven, and there are three sides whose length you don't know. So what's the perimeter of the shape? Pause the video if you'd like to give this problem a try. And when you're ready, keep watching to learn how to solve this problem. So let's get started by defining a couple of terms. A composite shape is a shape that is made up of two or more basic shapes. So let's say we have a square and we put a triangle on top to make a house. This will be a type of composite shape. Imagine you have a rectangle and you put semicircles at both ends to make a pill or a track house. These are examples of composite shapes. A rectilinear shape is one that is a polygon who's made of sides that meet at right angles. So you basically have any type of shape here where the sides are meeting at either 90 degree angles or you could say 270 degree angles measured the other way. So now let's solve the problem. We need to calculate the perimeter of this rectilinear shape, but we are only given three of the lengths. So we need to somehow compute the lengths that are not marked. So let's start out with this vertical length in blue. We don't know the length of this, but let's continue to the next vertical length, which I've marked in green. And we finally have one more vertical length in yellow. So we don't know the length of the blue, the green, or the yellow lengths. But what can we do? What would happen if we were to add up all three lengths? Imagine we put these lengths to the other side of the shape. So we'll move this blue length to the left side. We will move the green length to the left side. And finally, let's move the yellow length to the left side. So we can now see the sum of the three lengths, the blue length, the green length, and the yellow length will exactly be the length of the left side of the shape. So this will be equal to nine units. So we can figure out the sum of these three vertical lengths, even though we don't know any individual length. Now the horizontal lengths that are unmarked will be a little bit trickier, but they will magically work out in the same sort of fashion. So let's take this portion of the five side. We have another portion of the five side and we have this seven side. So let's move this yellow length all the way to the bottom. Let's move this purple length all the way to this side. And finally, let's move this seven length all the way to the bottom. So we've now covered up the horizontal lengths. So we know that the purple plus the yellow plus the orange must be equal to five plus seven. This is equal to 12, but I will just write it as five plus seven for the final calculation. So now let's calculate the perimeter of the shape. Let's start by summing the known side lengths. We have one side, which is equal to nine, another side, which is equal to five, and we have another side, which is equal to seven. So we have nine plus five plus seven. We now need to add this blue length and this green length and this yellow length. All three together, will have a length that's equal to nine. Finally, we add this purple length and this bottom length, and this will be equal to five plus seven. So the perimeter is nine plus five plus seven plus nine plus five plus seven, and that is equal to 42. And that, of course, is the answer to the life, the universe, and everything. And we can also have a little bit of fun. So we don't know the exact lengths that are shown in blue, green, and yellow. So in fact, this perimeter will correspond to many different shapes. So let's just break up the shape into three different rectangles. Imagine we were to change the blue and the green lengths as follows. We would still have the perimeter of this shape equal to 42. We could also change the green and the yellow lengths, and we would see the perimeter of this shape is also equal to 42. So even though we don't know the exact lengths that are unmarked, 
we can still calculate the perimeter of this rectilinear shape. What an interesting question. Thanks for making us one of the best communities on YouTube. See you next episode of Mind Your Decisions, where we solve the world's problems, one video at a time.